Good morning, Mount Olive. We'd like to give you a Monday, day, Monday morning devotion. And the one thing that we took from yesterday in our first secret of success, the focus was the theme, the focus to keep focus. Um, the one thing that we took from that is to limit distractions. So in 20 and 22, we want to stay focused on what God has put before us, right? And in order to do that, we must eliminate distractions. So let's look at our key verse for today. The key verse comes from 1 Peter 5 and 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, he walks about seeking whom he may devour. Now, this is a verse for all of us, and it introduces us to a daily enemy. We can't be ignorant of the opposition and our enemy. In 2 Corinthians 2, it tells us that we shouldn't let Satan get advantage over us because we've not been ignorant of his devices. His devices have been from old, his ways, and he's an enemy. And um, by biblical authority, we realize that this enemy is like a roaring lion. He's walking about seeing who he can catch outside of the fold, so to speak, that he may devour them. Now, that devour could be in any aspect of our life, devour our testimony, devour our ministry, devour uh, our church and split, devour our marriage. You know, any aspect of your life, your happiness, your joy, the enemy wants to devour it. So what do we do? How do we make sure that doesn't happen? He says to be sober. That means clear-headed, not distracted. Don't, don't be distracted by having too many things going on. Be vigilant. That means to have your eyes open, to be alert. So be clear-headed and be alert. That's how we keep our focus. Be clear-headed and be alert. You know, I'm reminded of a story um, that, or not a story, but an illustration. So, and it talks about tree skiing, and we know the, the idea of it. We can kind of see it in our mind, right, of a skier coming down a mountain full of trees. And you would think it's like a death wish because there's trees everywhere. There's not a pre-planned path. It's kind of like our life. It's kind of like our Monday. We don't see a pre-planned path. It's all of a sudden there's a tree here and a tree there and a tree here. And the idea of this is that that becomes crucial is that you keep your focus. You keep your focus. Uh, you must constantly look ahead as you're skiing. And you're looking for the open spaces between the trees, the exits that you hope that you turn your skis towards. And so it's very crucial for that. You can't look at the trees ahead of you. I think it's uh, Kim uh, Rockham if I pronounce that right, who was an extreme tree skiing champion, said, don't stare at what you don't want to hit. Be sober, be vigilant, and don't stare at what you don't want to hit. Don't stare at the trees, because if you stare at them, that's where you're going, right? You're going to hit them face first. We don't want to do that. Lindsay Dyer, uh, another tree skiing expert, said this, keep your eyes on the prize and not on the problems. Don't look at where the hazards might be, the trees, but look through the trees and keep your eyes fixed upon where you want to go. So I want to encourage you today. Don't look at the trees of yesterday. Don't let yesterday or your past determine 20 and 22, but keep your eyes forward to today. Don't let your eyes get fixed upon the trees of weaknesses, your weaknesses, because if you focus on that, that's what you're going to get. But focus on your strengths. Don't be overloaded by to-do list of things that it is impossible to get done. But set your, that's the trees, but set your eyes through the trees on your priorities. Don't let your eyes be stuck on the trees of fear or anxiety or worry, but keep your eyes fixed upon your God who is strong and who is able and who will rescue and give you strength. So be sober, be vigilant, Mount Olive. Uh, and know that you have an enemy, but if we stay focused, uh, we will make our way to God's divine destiny. Have a good Monday morning.